Brandon Riddle. I'm going to show you an uh, orientation video on this 26 foot Winnebago Outlook. The first thing as you walk in here, there's a battery switch. Sometimes the kids inadvertently turn this off, right there off. If nothing's working, everything's off, just hit on. That's your battery. Don't touch it. Here's your awning switch in and out. So we're going to push the awning. Uh, it's already coming out already. Don't use it. And if the wind's up or you're not with the vehicle, make sure you bring it back in. There's a little awning light there too. Come on in. It's a standard E350 Ford chassis. Pretty easy to drive automatic. It's got a backup camera. Pretty simple. You can use 87 octane gas. Your first bunk bed is right here. This thing, you've got a ladder that comes with it. And the ladder just hooks on right there. And that's your bunk bed. There's a TV up here. I'll show you the TV in a second here. Let's go to the beds first. Here's another smaller bed. There's a little strap here. You pull up on the strap to get it to break loose. Huh. Let's try that again. There it goes. And then goes down and then you got a couple pads you can fill in back here. It's a smaller bed, but it, it can work. You can sleep sideways. The dinette is also a bed. It's a little bit tricky. What you want to do is you want to get your, your pads up and out of your way first. Both pads. And then here's the table leg. You pop it out. There's a little switch to put the leg up. See that under there? Little, just push in on that button. Leg up. Tilt up and down. And that table comes right down. And then you can just roll all your pads out. This way. And there's your other bed. To put it back, it's a little bit tricky. It's probably the trickiest thing here. You just gonna pull up on your table again, come up. You want to be at a 45 degree angle like that. Back out. And then make sure it hooks in there. Okay, it hooked. I'm pulling on it so it's hooked. Then you want to bring your leg back down, latch it in there. You're all good to go. Put your pads back down. Here, let's switch spots. And there are seat belts here. There are seat belts in that in that front one. Oh, I didn't show how to return this back. So you just kind of lift up, boom, like that. And there's a seat belt there, and there are four seat belts here. I don't know if you got a picture of the bed, the last bed there. And then here's your bathroom. It's pretty simple. It's got a shower curtain. I'll show you how to turn on the water and all that foot flush on the toilet here or no this is actually a hand flush on the toilet there's your flat flush we will have toilet paper it'll come with chemicals and toilet paper stored in here don't you only use the toilet paper we give you you don't have to bring it we supply it it's part of the deal okay refrigerator it's a standard house refrigerator we'll have it turned on and cool for you guys before you pick it up it does have a uh, a little trick little uh, lock knob here that you I suggest you utilize this when you're going down the road. So once you load it up and you're going down the road, you want to screw this little knob in right there. And that'll lock the doors in case something when it shakes it come open. This inverter will be on when you receive it. You have to have that. Did we turn the battery on? Okay, there it goes. There it goes. So I push that, the light comes on, that's your inverter. Leave it on all the time, because that's what your how your refrigerator cools. Now you're, oh, the microwave's not working off the inverter. Wow, okay. Um, I'll show you that with the generator. The TV should work off of the inverter. Yes, let's do that. Yeah, and you're just gonna hit that, and it's got a, uh, it's got an antenna built into it already, and it should pick up channels. Then my the remote will be in this drawer here. And is it working? Huh. Ah oh, shoot. Ah oh, shit, come on. It's gotta wait a minute. That's still searching for channels. That's fine. I'm gonna turn it off. But that works off the inverter. You don't need a generator or anything. So here's your main control panel. Inver like I said, leave the inverter on. Here's your, these will tell you, here's your water heater. Here's your water pump. 
you don't want to leave the pump on driving down the road just in case so i'd turn it off going down the road but once you get there you can hear it running it'll you can leave your water pump on this will also show you if you push these buttons like our battery is two-thirds full our fresh water is two-thirds full it'll be full water when you receive it here's your black your toilet water filling up here's your gray which is your sink and your shower water filling up so kind of keep an eye on those the big key is to watch your fresh water usage you don't want to use all your fresh water in one day <clears throat> here oh while we're here let's go ahead and do the generator so the generator you want to hold the stop button until this lights up that's uh priming it and there okay so now it's primed now you oh let's turn the inverter off first boom there we go turn the gen you got to hold it to turn off now we primed our generator already let's prime it again boom that mean that lit up it's on now you're going to hit start you want to make sure to turn this inverter off before you turn on your generator so now your generator's on your microwave came on it'll run your refrigerator the only thing you need it for is really is the microwave to charge the batteries or to run the air conditioner, which is your standard household um, thermostat here. So now that we have the generator on, we can go to cool, turn the thermostat down, boom, leave it on auto. Now your air conditioning's working. But you have to have the generator for that. You can run it going down the road if you want. I'm gonna turn it off. Now, if you run, let's go ahead and turn the generator back off. Boom, stop. And I would turn your, inverter back on to keep your refrigerator cold with the light on there <clears throat> if you want to run the heater you don't need the generator for the heater it's a gas powered heater so you just go boom to heat set your temperature it's a standard just like in a regular house it runs off of propane boom make sure to turn that back off that's pretty much it oh we can show the stove real quick turn it to light light if you want and you're just going to click 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 there we go and then your burners turn on, then you can set them or turn them off. Turn them back off. Boom, that's the start. Um, that's it inside. I'm gonna show you real quickly outside. A couple little things. You got a storage compartment here with the, we'll have a, 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 throw, a floor mat to throw down on the ground to keep the dirt out. You can use that. Another storage here. <coughs> There's a little luggage or storage compartment here to store your stuff, chairs, whatnot. Okay, here is your power. If you're at a campground, I'm gonna unplug this. Look from this side, this thing's plugged in. You have to have it plugged in for the generator to work. It plugs into itself, if you will. So this is a 30 amp uh, cord for a, at, a, at a campground. You plug it into the campground and you, they'll usually have a circuit breaker. When you're done, make sure to plug this thing back into itself there is an adapter here too if you don't have 30 amps you only have that 15 amp you can use our adapter make sure the important thing to remember here is to plug this back in so the generator will power everything if you don't plug that in the generator won't power anything that's your power here's your fuel 87 octane here's a fill for uh, we'll have a white hose in that compartment if you want to fill your tanks if you use all your water you can refill your tank here under city fill the tank fill, actually, no, 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 this is if you're at a campground, I'm sorry. If you're at a campground, you want unlimited water, you would hook the white hose up to this. I'm going to show you the other side. Let's walk around there. Let's say you do use up all your water and you want to refill at a campground. <coughs> There's a tank fill right here where it says tank fill. So if you use up your water, boom, you don't have to refill it to bring it back. We'll take care of it. Just use your white hose to fill that. Continuing on, if you did, you know, we, it's all part of your, your prep fee. We will drain this for you, your uh, gray and black tanks. But let's say you're at a campground or you're going for a week or more, you might want to drain this. So there's a storage, there's a brand new hose here inside the bumper. You're going to bring that back here. And here's where your dump is. So you take that, put your hose on, snap. And then you're going to have a black valve. You always want to pull the black valve first, boom, and then let it drain out. And then go over here and there's a gray valve and you want to pull your gray valve. That'll drain your black tank and your gray tank. That's it. It's pretty simple. Keep the valve closed when you're done. This just unhooks here. Put your cap back on. I won't let you go down the road without that. 
boom. And then we always store this back in the bunker here. <coughs> oh, it even says sewer hose on it right there. See that? Okay. I think that's it. If you run out of well, it comes full of propane. This is where you check your propane level. There's a little gauge inside of there. It'll be full when you receive it. If you did run it out, you go to any gas station and refill it if you had to, but you should have plenty for your trip. I think that's it. Uh, <coughs> that should cover it. If you have any questions, just call me 24 seven on, on my cell phone, the number 626-622-2500. I'll help you out. Thank you.